Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the downtrend that we are still in here on Bitcoin. Obviously seeing about another 2.5% drop overnight, uh, but then giving you the arguments for the bullish side and the support that we are currently holding right now. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. I'll be going over the targets that I'm for a trade that I'm currently in and uh, yeah, I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. I think it should be another good one. Uh, you can see where we're bouncing from at the moment, by the way. I'll cover that in a second. I firstly want to go over a short that I uh, took or like got filled on overnight. I think it's going to be good for educational purposes here. Um, so we had sort of a confluence, in my opinion, of, of, of a reasoning for a short. First, we had this upward sloping channel, okay, on the very short term. Upward sloping channel being the top of the channel. Secondly, we had a trend line resistance, one, two, third touch of trend line resistance, okay, Thirdly here, we had an old upward sloping channel, which you can see was really well respected. Deviations back to the top, back to the middle, you know, low of the channel. And fourthly, we had a uh, increasingly positive funding rate over on BitMEX. And as you all know, the, the funding rate is, you know, slightly indicative of, of where the most positions are. And uh, you can expect to see it, you know, longs punished in that regards. And uh, so, uh, you know, this this uh, trade was a little bit of, of the four reasons, along with just, I guess, instincts of uh, being a fifth reason of, of confluence to look for that short. And uh, we can say that that, you know, looking at the chart now was obviously a very nice position. And we have moved down overnight. So I actually got filled on that short while, we're, while I was totally asleep. I was obviously going to bed around here filled on a short, waking up to pretty decent profits. Once again, once again, have a guess where we bounced off of. No surprise, I don't really think. Still bouncing off of this 618 here, which is 8,500, let's just say 8,550, okay? Lows high, still, still, still bouncing off that level. And then on the very short term here, uh, again, another 618 bounce there. So what I am looking at here in the, you know, what I'm going to say, sort of tw next 12, you know, short term, let's just say short term, um, really you're still looking at that 8,550 support. It's still support until it's not. So that is definitely a support level um, that you have to be aware of, okay? Obviously, if you start losing it and closing below, that's where you can start to look for 8,300 or, you know, or lower levels, basically. Lower levels only once you lose that with the close, okay? Currently as well, you are still obviously holding this old trend line. So the old trend line resistance, it is acting as support. But uh, as you can just see that the bounces are obviously getting weaker, 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 weaker and weaker. So, you know, there's, there's definitely an argument to be had of the bullish side that we are holding the 618. Obviously a very important support level. You can't underestimate it is important and you are holding it right now obviously the bearish scenario is that the bounces are getting weaker you need to see some follow through um you know for me i would like to see really follow through back over the weekly you know we, we know this weekly level has been important the last bounce you got above it but in the end just made a net lower high so you obviously bounced here lower high so what you really want to see is is reclaim it and actually start breaking some highs instead of getting the bounce going straight into a lower high to be honest um so yeah on like the medium term i'm very much neutral I, ha I hold no bullish or bearish bias and i will literally just trade the chart uh, of what's given to me and that means one day i can be bullish one day i can be bearish and i'm absolutely fine with that that's having a neutral sort of just trading the chart bias midterm zero 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 bias on this chart right now if i'm honest with you um so yeah, I'll be transparent and uh, obviously in yesterday's, well, I had a live stream yesterday where I taught Fibonacci, by the way. So if you're interested in catching that live stream, head over to chartchampions.com and you can uh, re-watch uh, last night's educational live stream on Fibonacci. But also I have a challenge account, which I've mentioned a few times here before, being transparent with this one. I don't mind sharing the account basically, uh, where I do live trading uh, on days with like private clients or every Sunday uh, with the champions group. And uh, on this account, along with my main account, I got filled last night to the absolute dollar high <laughs> so this is a little bit of a one where you know if people argue oh there's no way in the markets they're so random there's no way you can be shorting anything to the to the exact high well here is evidence of a real live bitmex account of me shorting to the dollar high <laughs> uh, so i had this position uh position entered while i was still awake it got filled while i was asleep as you can see to the absolute dollar high to the dollar high and uh waking up this morning obviously to uh you know pretty decent profits and i'm not gonna lie for for being asleep on a challenge account pretty healthy profits there <laughs> um so yeah that was that's a little bit of one for me to just uh not so much boast but just say it feels good. It feels good when you 
identify the resistances and then actually trade. So it's not like I'm just trying them, I'm actually trading them. And, um, you know, th there, there's evidence of, you know, if anyone says, oh, the markets are totally random, that there's no way you can get in on a, on a dollar. Um, well, there's an entry to the dollar high while asleep. Stop loss was set hard. Stop loss hitting entry, waking up in the morning to, I mean, on this account, about 0 0.6 uh, Bitcoin profit. What's that? About 500-ish dollars? I don't know. But nevertheless, that's that's pretty decent. Not going to lie. Um, and then on the short term here, as you can see, I've trailed stops into profits. But uh, after this video, I'm going to lock in 50%, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I should have done it this morning, but I've only just logged in. But here we actually see, um, yeah, trail the stops down to this high currently. But it makes sense, to be honest, take 50%. Obviously, we have come outside of this downward sloping trend line. Uh, sorry, channel there. Um, but you need to form a high. You need to for you need to really break eight to eight. Let's just say eight six forty. You know you need to break eight six forty uh, to really get some confidence in the long. Uh, you have got bullish divergences on this drop, so there are the bullish divergences coming down to the overall six one eight. But until you sort of make a higher high, it's it's very hard at this moment in time to be bullish. Obviously on this one, I've got the stops now set in profit. Uh, and on this account, I'm really not. You know that that's just how I'm trading it basically. So um, <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed this one once again. I hope that you appreciate the transparency that I've done on this account. And uh, yeah, I guess thank you for the comments that I received like this. Uh, honestly, honestly, thank you so much. Very much appreciated the love and support that I get from you all. This was another one where I just absolutely love the comments. Um, so yeah, thank you. You know, thank you for those sort of, you know, that support that you show me. It means so much to me. Uh, so yeah, thank, thanks you, thank you. Just really want to say thank you for that. Obviously, if you're interested in the uh, contenders live stream that was yesterday, or all of my past live streams, and obviously you can come across chartjams.com and and uh, you know catch up on those live streams. Very very educational. Um, that should definitely improve your trading. So uh, hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you once again on my behalf for in, you know watching this video and showing the support. I'll be updating on this trade, obviously primarily in my group, but then uh, you know on Twitter. Um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed, I would uh, appreciate a like. Have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. Uh, I maintain happy as always. Hope that I can pass my positivity onto yourself. And uh, yeah, keep smashing the trades. Just keep having a ball. Have a great time. Have a great day. Thank you once again and goodbye. Cheers.